love the Lord, and He is my first love. Devotion to Him is everything to me. This past August, something happened to me that I never ever thought would happen in my life. I got divorced. I didn't know it, but for 11 years, as I grew in healing and deliverance from my past, my ex-husband grew in secrets and shame. He had decided that it was better to not tell another soul about what he was struggling with, rather than allowing God to have full victory over his life. My ex-husband struggled with a deep and dangerous sex addiction, and our relationship ended with police investigations, and it left me a pregnant single mom of three this past year. Trusting the Lord with my story was easy, and worshiping the Lord through this battle was an honor. It was my foundation of His joy that brought me through. At the same time, walking this last year felt like the flesh of my heart being ripped in two. I remember waking up in the middle of the night and thinking this was all just a bad dream and then realizing it was a nightmare, that my life was a living nightmare. And through all of it, God's promises never failed me. I'll start my story with Bloom in 2020. I was suffering from a condition at the time that made it extremely difficult for me to get pregnant. During a ministry moment at Bloom, one of my students came up to me and said she had two dreams that I was pregnant at church. I had already heard from the Lord and multiple people throughout the year that I was going to have a baby, so this was complete confirmation that God's promises would come to pass. Right after that, I had a dream, and I knew it was a promise that our whole family would be delivered because I thought what my husband was struggling with was severe depression. The kids and I had the Holy Spirit resting on us like a dove, and so we held firmly to the hope that their dad would also be freed and receive God's peace. A couple months later, I felt like I got healing for my condition after getting prayed for, and around the same time, I also got a huge vision to start a worship school. <laughs> my ex-husband came home from his military trip at the end of December 2020, and we immediately became pregnant. God gave us a miracle baby. I also started the year 2021 with establishing a worship school at House of the Lord Christian Academy. Promise after promise was being fulfilled by the Lord, and we knew it was just a matter of time before um, our whole family was delivered. On April 26, 2021, just before Bloom, the life that I knew shattered with all the secrets that my ex-husband was hiding. Secrets that terrified me and left me wondering, how could this have happened? How could I not have known? Bloom was so sweet that year. <laughs> I came to the event completely broken in the presence of my God and my church family. And with all my sisters behind me and beside me, I laid at the feet of Jesus. It's all I had to do. It's all we ever have to do. I continue to this day to live and breathe worship to our Heavenly Father, and I love sitting at His feet. Looking at Jesus' face continues to bring me clarity, hope, and forgiveness. God never stops telling me who I am. And that grief, and that my grief holds growth, and that my pain holds power. Every hurt that gets peeled back through this process I get to feel the fullness of it. And then when he tells me to, I lay it at his feet and he takes it. It's the promise that he continues to keep. He promised that not only would the kids and I be fully healed, but that it would not even leave a scar. I hated divorce and I hate divorce. And I know that God hates it too, as it's often quoted in Malachi 2.16. It begs to be said that he also hates sin. He loathes it. I know that this is not the story God would choose for my life. However, it's just like him to be one step ahead. When keeping my marriage was no longer an option, the Lord grieved. And then he delivered the kids and I. His promise to deliver my family was kept. It just looked vastly different than what my flesh could imagine. He protected us. And it's practically beautiful when you think about it. I know we will always continue to walk in His promises just the way Peter walked on water by never taking our eyes off Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. <laughs>
come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be overcome by your presence, Lord.